Hello everyone, excellent evening, excellent evening to everyone of us. We are highly welcome to this evening's broadcast. Welcome, welcome. I hope we're doing great. Oh, how is our week going? I hope our week is lovely and that we are touching lives and that we're fulfilling our destinies. Okay, so today we're looking at the power of storytelling. As we look at our businesses, remember that on Thursdays in Aging with Grace, we deal with our businesses. Now, when we talk about health, we talk about eight dimensions of health. And in Aging with Grace, we teach and we show people how they can touch and improve the eight dimensions of health. Okay, if you talk about your physical health, your mental health, your psychological health, your emotional health, your occupational health, environmental health, be, you know, and your wealth is also part of it. Your financial wealth is also part of um, the eight dimensions of health. So today we're looking at the power of storytelling, the power of storytelling. So we're looking at inspiring your audience. How can you inspire your audience in business development? Okay. How can you inspire your audience to be able to achieve the sales that you want. So we're all highly welcome to this evening's broadcast. If you join me live, you can greet. So I can welcome you to this evening's broadcast. Remember that I have other pages, okay? I'm really excited to share my other social media platform with you. And then um, you can stay updated there in social media platform like YouTube. In YouTube, if you Google Lungoze Achonwa, you will see my YouTube channel in TikTok, Aging with Grace, because this is Aging with Grace, and Instagram, you can look for alternative nutrition, okay? Feel free to follow us, share, like, comment, and also ask questions in those platforms. I appreciate your support always, and I look forward to connecting with you across all the, those platforms. Thank you for joining me this morning of this evening's broadcast as we look at storytelling, the power of storytelling, okay? So first of all, let's share, share. If you join me live, you can share. I want to start sharing now. Let's share to our friends so that they can learn how they can boost their businesses through storytelling. I'm going to give you complete facts that you need that can help you boost your business with storytelling, okay? So share, share, share. Join me and share. Share to your friends, share to your family, share to the groups you belong. If you have any business group you belong, I promise you this video will really, really do them good, okay? So let's go ahead and share out to all the places that we need to share. Just one second. Oh, no, not more than one second, actually. <laughs> let's use like um, a minute to do this sharing, okay? So as I do that, you can greet. I can welcome you to this evening's broadcast. How are we doing? How did that day go? And how is our uh, uh, week going? And have you achieved what you need to achieve for this month? Or did you achieve what you needed to achieve for last month? What is your vision for this month? What is your goal? Have you evaluated June, your business and your financial um, process in June? Did you, did, you, did you evaluate it and are you ready for this month okay to make adjustment because if you don't evaluate you'll not be able to know where you went wrong and know what to do to make it better this month okay and what i always tell people it's always good for you to do these things um weekly daily self okay daily have your goals daily and then have your goals weekly that will build up to weekly and then build up to your monthly goal don't just wait at the end of the year you now begin to check how much um, did I do? I remember debt free, being debt free is one of the greatest things that can happen to you that will make you really stable and know what to do. All right, so looking at storytelling, one of the most effective ways to communicate with people is through storytelling. We remember that in those days, we normally have moonlight stories. Our parents had values they wanted to pass across to us. They had um, ethics they wanted to pass across to us and they told us all those stories. The um, tortoise stories, the old woman stories. I can remember one that is always coming to my heart. You know, it is an Igbo um, story, and the um, chorus goes like, Egalakpapalajekpalakpamde, Egalakpapalajekpalakpamde, 
you know so that's um, the way the rhyme goes it's always very very story for me and you remember the yoruba one eyala kara eyala kara okay so all those stories you remember them you remember it's like pictorial very very pictorial for you it's 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 an art and you know it has a procedure it's a skill that you learn so it's a a technique that people have been using since the beginning of time and it still holds the same value today as it did then okay storytelling is very very powerful i'm telling you and storytelling is not just for individual but it also helps with business communication it helps you to communicate effectively to your customers to your partners to your staff and to others try to imbibe storytelling in your family and where you want to communicate with people stories are an indirect way of communicating a message using a narrative and they are often more memorable and engaging than when you communicate uh, with people with even illustration or just trying to bring facts to people people get bored with facts okay hello lubumi or lolade you're welcome good evening today we are looking at storytelling how storytelling can help you in your business and in your life generally okay storytelling is really really very good and there are four essential elements in storytelling there are four essential elements that you need to note and look at them okay so the four essential elements the first one is people the people involved the company involved the objects and other moving you know pieces acting in the story okay that's one the people involved and then all the second element is they can be living or non-living things okay that first element can be living or non-living living things. but most often in a business setting stories will revolve around either the customer or someone involved in the business then every good story number two needs a beginning and a middle and an end okay every good story needs a beginning a middle and an end so when you're compiling your story or trying to tell your story or even if you're telling a story a true life story remember that there should be a beginning a middle and an ending and without that structure a story won't be able to communicate the message to the audience then number three conflict defines the motivation of the characters and what happens to them as they pursue a set intention okay so what are the characters you need to look at the characters trying to what the characters are trying to do trying to accomplish or what gets in their way so it's very very essential that the story has movement and conflict to keep the audience engaged if you want your story to not to be boring then you have to have that movement you have to have that you know conflict in the story then the fourth thing is the story needs an end okay a good story has a well thought out ending that revolves the central conflict and in a business setting usually especially for those of us who are on social media it often leads to what we call call to action your story must end with call to action urging your audience to perform a certain action okay you must urge, urge, urge your audience to perform a certain action and these elements are present in all types of storytelling not just fictional stories okay so without these four elements storytelling falls flat and then fails to communicate a message to the people so we're going to look at how storytelling is used in business how do you use storytelling in business because that's what we're dealing with today and you can apply it to everything and when i mean business even if you're selling pepper in the market and people come to buy things from you just simply telling them instead of telling them hey things are costly in the market today oh you know it's a fact it's a fact that things are costly in the market but just this same statement things are costly in the market just tell them hey today now wow do you know that before i used to use 1000 naira to go to k2 market if you're in lagos but today hey even for me to be able to use one five eh, it was so so bad that I even had to borrow money from my friend to complete our transport money going to K2 today. And coming to think of it, see the bowl of pepper that we used to buy 400 naira. Today I bought it 1,200. Hey, God will help us in this Nigeria. So my friend, though, you should be praying for us. Please come and buy from me. Oh, things are, do you understand? So going through this, that woman as she's going, the person that came to buy that pepper, should be remembering, eh? So going to get to now is 1,500. It will be, she will try to relate it to her own issue. And that will make her 
you know, if instead of just saying pepe is costly now, so buy, but then you need to spend some more money. Sorry, <laughs> the first thing is making my mouth somehow. And then she now just, you know, we, we now relate the story to the circumstances and actually empathize with you. So st story actually brings that empathy from your your customers and things like that, okay? So you need to tell stories. So in the business, storytelling is about conveying a message rather than entertainment. You have a message. Like this story I've told you, the message I have is that pepper is now higher. Selling pepper is now, okay? Buying pepper, pepper is now expensive. Let me put it that way. So that's the, the message. And you can see I had a beginning and I had an, an ending and I had a call to action in that simple story. So characters can represent the business, customers or people who have interacted with the business, okay? I talked about my colleague, I went to the market. So those are characters. I talked about the people selling in the market. I talked about the boss that we used to, okay? So there are a few examples of storytelling in business development. Number one is case study. Number two is customer reviews. Three is origin stories, advertisement stories, landing pages, and impact stories, okay? These are some of it. You don't really need that details down. So whether you've been working or acquiring new customers or deepening existing customers' relationship, storytelling will help you to form a unique connection with your customers, okay? Even if they are leads that you're trying to get or there are ex new existing customers that you already have, you know, by creating that emotional connection to the message, it will help the people to relate more with you, empathize with you, and buy with you. So, if we're looking at why is storytelling powerful, let me just share some points with us why storytelling is powerful. Number one, effective storytelling can transform complex data into digestible information and make the message to stick and build trust with your audience and create relate you know, create a very good relatability that I said, the people will just relate with you. Okay, so storytelling is very, very important. Okay, now let me even tell you another story. Hello, Yomi. Yomi, you're welcome to this evening's program. We're looking at storytelling in business. Okay, now let me tell you a story. There are facts about men. And that fact is that up to, I think they say up to like one out of every 10 men will have prostrate issue. Either prostate enlargement, prostatitis, or prostate cancer. Okay, these ones can lead to prostate cancer. Now, if I gather men together and I just tell them, hey, men, no, you people need to be careful, oh, because, hey, you know, this prostate they're talking about is real. You can, they say that, you now give them the fact. But now I come to men and I say, hey, now, wow, my friend just lost her dad. This is really, really terrible. And I, I, can, I can just imagine the man really suffered to take care of them. And now that he's supposed to be enjoying and actually getting all the things that he has suffered. Can you see this cancer, this um, prostate cancer just came and killed the man. Hey, we are just coming from the funeral yesterday and I was really, really very pitied for his children, for him that he didn't really enjoy. Can you imagine at 65 he just died? Hey, and you know, this is what statistics is saying, you know, that men, one out of every 10 men that see this one, I can even remember, if I look at my friends now, I will see that this thing is correct, too, because even my friend lost um, the something, the other one has this one, you know, you start saying, and you say, it looks like if I look at the 100 friends I have, that actually 10 out of them, their parents or their fathers are having some problems like this, okay? So, the person, people will go, you have given that fact that one out of every 10, they will know it and they will relate it to that story. And then I can now end it off with buy vitalized men for your father, for your brother, for your husband, so that they will not end up like these people I've talked about. So that's the power of storytelling. Effective storytelling will convert that complex data into a digestible information and the message will stick with your audience, okay? And then they can relate with you. Because data is central to good decision making. You need data when you're talking about good decision making. But some people may not be able to connect with that raw data and the numbers and the analytics. But by presenting the data in a story format, you can now make that raw data more accessible to a broader audience. Okay? So storytelling can help your audience see how data impacts people in real situations. In real situation, there are very, very real facts, um, truthful facts, 
that you need people need to know but because those things are not in digestible form the people cannot take it like even in your business you know your business i'm into health and wellness okay and there are several facts about health and wellness okay and if we don't bring out that facts in stories people will not hear it okay so story will give you a way to demonstrate the implication of even a report that you have a research that has been done and show the real world impact of a potential decision and then you know make it human okay you will now humanize the people behind the message hello grace you're welcome today we're looking at storytelling how can storytelling help you in your business in your home in your life generally okay so when you're dealing with highly complex topics storytelling can make it possible for others with a less technical background to engage with that data in a meaningful way and this is where you create a message that's easy for others to remember okay the message sticks in the mind of the audience even after you've gone your separate ways that story will stick to them storytelling is one of the best method of making an ideal an idea and data to stick to people's minds so storytelling also creates credi credibility with your audience because you're telling them real life stories okay and it makes the message more relatable and then breaks down concepts to easily understandable things that they can relate with storytelling are also very very sticky they stick to our minds because they connect with people and ideas and contextualization information to a specific situation okay for example if i bring back the story of the woman that is telling pepper okay that information of increase in price of pepper she can relate my customer will relate better with it because i've used a story you know to embellish it a story to to like um, put that fact it's like having a, a a big soup and then you just take that fact and put inside it so as the person licks the soup he leaks the fact and the fact sticks to the person's mind. So when you craft your message into a relevant story, remember the story has to be relevant. It's likely to stick with your audience for longer and have a stronger impact on their impression about you. So learn storytelling. Storytelling is an art. You need to learn it and you need to put it in your mind that anytime you're communicating to people, especially for those of us in the business world, those of us in social media marketing, you must use story. You have to use, so even if you're writing a short script and putting a story in it, you know, I, 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 I wrote three stories today or three scripts today. And because I wanted to practice what I'm teaching today, I added stories to them and I tell you, it's really, really making waves for me. Okay. So, it's, it's the easiest way to see easiest way to see people on social media relate to people on social media and actually make people so relatability is important for connecting to your audience okay and when you can transport your audience into a scene like it's like a cinema <laughs> then you have set you, you you have set for them and you have given them a chance to see things from the perspective of the characters in the story and then you have a unique opportunity to build solidarity okay with them to build a relationship a fellowship with your audience really really very important and that's the easiest way in social media please if you're doing social media marketing make sure you're telling stories if you bring your content put in stories in your content and tell that story with the facts that you're telling but it shouldn't be too many stories okay maybe if you're having like a 15 minutes broadcast make sure you have one story there if you have maybe like a 30 minutes broadcast two to three stories will do because that's longer you need people's attention there so your brand gains a level of authenticity and approachability expertise or even personality rather than being just under a you know corporate entity for example now people talk about post prostrate and people come about and they, you, if you go on social media, you see a lot of people talking about prostrate or people talking about menopause. But if you bring in your own and you bring it in with story, I'm telling you, it's going to be mind blowing. Hello, a healthy aging with Annie is here with me. She's one of my mentors. How are you? And good evening. Excellent evening. How is Nigeria doing? <laughs> I'm still here on holiday in the United Kingdom, but very soon I'll be with you people so we can push the year. 
Anne is one of my mentors and she's doing very well. Again, that reminds me, if you want to have a business you can do right from the comfort of your home, a business you can do touching lives all over the world, a business you can do making money every day. Today, I tell you, I've spoken with not less than 30 people today or chatted with not less than 30 people. Let me not spoken with because I'm in a retreat. I didn't want to call a lot of people, but you know, I've been able to chat with so many people with the time I gave myself, the break I gave myself. So I'm raising people. I'm teaching people on how they can use their talent, use their hobby, use their abilities right from the comfort of their home and make money especially for those of us who are planning to retire and those of us who are planning to have a second stream of income it's an opportunity you must not miss thank you and you're fine <laughs> all right so i'm putting my whatsapp number here now my whatsapp number is my whatsapp number is plus two three four so that you can chat me i'll hold you by the hand and i'll teach you how you can have that second stream of income how you can have you know that retirement business how you can have that business by the side how you can work from home and make all the money you don't need to stress yourself this age okay so my whatsapp number is plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two Plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two. All right, so that's my number. I'm going to pin it, and then you can chat me. Hello, Grace. How are you doing, Grace? Udofia, you're welcome. Welcome to this evening's broadcast. Thank you for joining me. You're me, Alamin. You're welcome. Welcome to this evening's broadcast. Today, like I said, we're looking at storytelling. How storytelling can help you in your business, and we are really, really learning a lot. Try to get stories. Okay, try to get stories. And now stories are very, very easy. You don't have to manufacture or forge. You know, some people say forge. If you live your life, if you have that mind of telling stories, then you too can make up story, real life stories in your life. Okay. Like, for example, for me, I always try to chat with my customers and find out how they are doing. So if I chat with them and find out, oh, how did you find this supplement I sold to you? How did you find the facial product I sold to you? Oh, like I was chatting with a customer today and just to tell her a story. I told her, I said, I've been using this product for like two years and there's no wrinkle on my face. And you know what? Before I used to have wrinkles on, on my neck and you know, uh, my mom would tell me, oh, those lines are not coming out again. And because my mom mentioned it and I was like, oh, what do I do? So I had to research to find out what will not that come my face, what will make me well. And I just told her that story and I put a picture a video of me and i put a video of the products that i'm using so she saw everything so it's a story so it got it caught her so storytelling is very very important okay and remember in a business story there must be a beginning there must be a middle part and there must be a, an ending part and that ending part must have call to action and remember the characters remember the facts the concept and the facts that you need to put in don't forget it. don't just tell story for tell storytelling way so your brand will gain, gain real authenticity and then you know you know we always say be authentic be yourself so that's why you need to check your day-to-day -day life to bring out stories from your day-to-day -day life that you will use to relate with people and telling my customer about my mom was real life story because that's what happened to me some years back when she told me about it you know and i had to start doing something about it so storytelling are, are really relatable because they have characters that people can relate with and a good storytelling will evoke emotion calling my mom saying she's looking for all those lines that look like necklace on my neck you know it's something that you know is emotional and then it also builds familiarity and inspires your audience or your customer to create a narrative that that we you know go with them okay so it, they will see it that as themselves even if their mom I have not told them they'll remember whoever that told them that so when you're trying to forge or strengthen that connection storytelling will give you a window for your customers okay and it also give you a window for your leads prospects that you're trying to get and business partners okay because storytelling is also very good with you for your business partner your staff in your place and things like that okay so they will see through the process that goes on behind the scene in your business 
they will see through that process so you can get a chance to show how well you understand your customers needs by putting yourself in their shoes and then building a scenario around the situation that they actually face it's very very important and that's why you know i've talked to you about branding i've talked to you about ideal customer and i've talked to you about knowing your ideal customers the 30 questions you need to answer to know your ideal customers all these are really involved so by addressing these real issues your customers and business partners are dealing with you can demonstrate your expertise in your field and then value the value you are able to bring to the table because of that expert okay so you're also showing your cards and revealing something to your audience revealing that you are an expert revealing that you know what you're talking about revealing that you know you're a professional okay so storytelling gives you a chance to also share your experience and your vulnerability it also gives you that chance because we are not just expert 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 we are real human beings and we are living in a real world so when you tell your stories also relates with your customers and also make them know that you're a real human being and they will see your vulnerability so stories humanize your brand and then it makes it easier for you to reach your audience in an emotional level remember people buy not because of fact people buy because of emotion is emotion that will cause people to buy from you okay so and the emotional connections will also lead to a higher engagement with your 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 audience with your brand including your interaction with your call to actions okay when you just come and say come and buy come and buy that's a call to action or oh, come and patronize me call to action but i can relate i can in, put it into, into a story and then the people will even be the ones to tell me oh i want to buy okay so that's it so that's the power of storytelling it's nothing new it's something that has been going on and many businesses underutilize it that's the problem even me i'm telling you i underutilize it so today it has just brought it to me and i want to put a, an asterisk on it on my to do every day that i must put in storytelling and for me to put in storytelling then i have to be very very intentional about it i have to do things every day to make me get real true life stories that i'm going to tell people okay so power of storytelling is nothing new and many businesses are under utilizing it you know and you need to do something about it so to elevate communication seek out opportunities for storytelling and leave a lasting impact on your audience it's very very important so i don't know what you want to do by the reason of this broadcast today i want you to put it down what is your business okay so let's have um a few minutes maybe like four or five minutes just time <laughs> before i close this broadcast and those that are live with me can you put what your business is putting it can also make other people to you know patronize you and can you tell me what you have learned today and what you begin to do and also help me to if you have an occasion of storytelling that you have told that helped you to get uh, people to buy from you and don't forget remember that you can find this if you have friends that you share on facebook and they say they are not on facebook share my youtube channel with them because they are chung on my tiktok aging with grace instagram alternative nutrition it and feel free to follow me in all these platforms share please share 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 like my 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 posts like my videos and comment and ask questions there i will always answer you i really appreciate all your support and i look forward to connecting with you also on whatsapp my whatsapp number is also pinned there that's where i have personal relationship or personal answer and questions with people my whatsapp number is plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two so let me go ahead who is telling us something please let's put it on the comment section so that we can see what's your own idea what's your own story <laughs> can you tell me any story of anything you have um, how you got someone to get connected with you and the person was able to buy something from you please please don't leave me alone grace what's your story Stella, good evening. Angela, what's your story? Um, bold fa face copper. NK, NK, how are you? NK, what? Uh -huh. You have another name now. What's your story? Let's put up something. Grace Udofia, what's your story? Healthy aging. Can you tell us one story that has helped? There are a lot of us online today. Please let's tell our story. Let's make sure we comment. We have two minutes and then I'll just share it out, okay? And say it out. But there's something, a story that also 
has helped me this week that I want to relate with us about. I have a customer, she's in Lebanon, okay? She's in Lebanon and um, she needed some things and she gave me a testimonial of how our supplement for arthritis, leg pain, waist pain, shoulder pain has helped her. She has a business that makes her stand all the time. So she just told me that story. I said, oh, um, because this is the first time she's taking supplements. She said, oh, these things are so, so good. And then she started telling me about other things she needed. So I now told her a story of me too, how I had issues with my leg and um, taking those supplements just for three months. Now I don't, I just take them when I have very stressful time and I don't want to even have any pain at all. Okay. So giving that with her, where, what am I going? My point is I want her to know that even though the pain has left, she should also have a bottle with her so that any day she's going to be stressed, stressed out, she will take it ahead of time. So telling her that my story of how I now have a bottle so that any time I'm going to be stressed, I take it ahead of time. So I will not have any pain at all and I will not injure my knees or my ankles, you know, and I said, maybe you should also consider getting a bottle to keep, even though you might not be taking it. So I've told that story about me which is a true life story. And then she has related with it and she has placed order for the one she will keep. Okay, so that's how storytelling works. We need to actually have this in the back of our mind and be intentional about it and make sure we add storytelling. And remember, it's a skill. You can go and learn about storytelling skills. Maybe next week, I will tell us some skills about storytelling and tell us the techniques of storytelling and other things. But what we have today is a summary and it's very, very good. Remember, if you forget anything, you must apply storytelling in your business too. You must know that there are um, three um, um, structure, the beginning, the middle, and the ending, okay? And make sure that the ending you apply call to action. And also remember that there are um, people there or your business or projects that are there. You also remember that there are contents you need to also push out there in storytelling and remember be real be authentic be yourself and make sure you're telling the stories that are happening to you and again storytelling getting stories are not difficult it's for you to be intentional about it and make sure you do things that can help you converse with people business people you cannot do without having conversation with people okay for me i would say that for like two months now and i've not gone out there to look for anybody but social media has given me hundreds and hundreds of people to talk with every day so know what to do to get people you No know, people when they want to join our business they say how do i get people i teach you how you get people today i just that i didn't want if i wanted i could have spoken with up to 50 people on the phone or chatted up to 200 people but no because i'm, I'm in a retreat i don't have that kind of time so that's what i'm going to teach you so chat me on my WhatsApp number, plus 234-703-515-164. You will never lack people to talk with if you join my business, okay? All right. Um, there are a lot of people who are watching. You can go ahead. You just join me now. You can go ahead and watch the replay because I have to click stop now. Thank you all for joining me. See you on Saturday. Saturday, we're going to be having a fitness ball exercise for weight loss, okay? For those of you who need to maintain your weight, lose weight, I'm going to show you if it's your arm, if it's your shoulder, if it's your lap. I'm going to show you all those exercises on a cushion fitness ball that can help you so that you will not stress yourself so much. Thank you all for joining me once again. See you on Saturday. And make sure you relate with me on WhatsApp so we can have a personal chat. Love you all. Bye.